Hey, what's going on? Dave Erickson here with Everyman Driver and just arrived this week. I have a 2020 Honda Ridgeline. Pretty excited about this. I've had the previous versions. I actually had a black edition. There's four trim levels this year. They scaled it down. I just got it, but I have a couple of uh, stats in my head as I do a quick walk around for you. And then at the end of my week, I'll put together a more detailed real world drive and review for you with uh, more detailed numbers as well as demonstrations. But in the meantime, I know it still has uh, just a one engine option. It's a 3.5 liter V6. Uh, from what I read, they're getting rid of or they're replacing the six speed automatic transmission with a new nine speed automatic transmission. So hopefully that will uh, probably uh, reflect in my fuel economy numbers. I don't have those off the top of my head right now. Uh, some other things that might be notable for you, uh, doesn't that look like it's just basically a pilot with a bed on it? Which is fine because uh, unibody structure makes it a smoother drive, very comfortable drive. Even in the day that I've had it, uh, I was able to do some errands like, oh, I forgot that I'm driving a truck, a mid-sized truck, which it is. Uh, I think in my, re my review, I'll mention out some of the uh, competition. Now it's got a two, uh, two option tailgate. They've got this cool system here where you can, let me do it, there you go. You can swing it open, kind of nice, right? And then you have the option of a traditional tailgate. And they've got this hidden uh, storage box um, uh, below. I think this is exclusive to the Ridgeline. A nice deep container there, so extra luggage if you don't have enough room in the cabin as it is. Or they got these plugs here too, so I'm thinking open and close. You can probably put some ice in there. That's kind of nice. Some uh, lighting in the back, tie downs. A good wide bed there. Uh, something else that you've seen probably in other Hondas. I think it's the HRV or the Fit is they have, I kind of call it a magic seat. I think it's what they call it, a magic seat where you lift this up here and it snaps into place and it goes on both sides. It's kind of a 60-40 split here. So let's say looking back here, this is my position as a driver. Not very impressive in terms of leg room, especially since the seat doesn't slide back. But there you go. Of course, this can slide forward, but that's my position as a driver up front. And what else? Something. Oh yeah. Fold down armrest. Seeing this for the first time. Cup holders. A little space there for change maybe. Ah, look at this. Honda gives you a couple of USB ports back here so you can keep your devices charged up as passengers in the back. And then here's a look at the cabin. I'll go up there and show you a little closer. Seems like a pretty spacious cabin. I mean, I know it's a comfortable drive, but back there I'm 5'11". I'm not sure if that's enough room for bigger adults. But depends on how big your driver is, I guess, right? So... In here, good storage compartments in the side of the door. The safety features as usual. Oh, there's a cargo light. That's right. Um, lane departure alert. Traction control. Oh, there's an econ button, obviously. Uh, gas cap release. They do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto standard this year. I do know that. I got my phone plugged in now. There's the USB port there. There's also, yep, there is one in here. One thing, no dials on the touch screen. You can um, volume up and down with your with the touch of your finger, or you can do it on the steering wheel. So steering wheel mounted controls. I think this is pretty similar to last year's model, except for a couple of updates, which I'll talk about in my review. But there's a, is that a lane keeping. Uh, adaptive cruise control, radar cruise control. Oh, there's a heated steering wheel. Could have used that earlier this morning. There's Bluetooth options there. Instrument cluster. No heads up display, unfortunately. And what else can I show you on this? Home screen. Oh, Apple CarPlay there, good. Truck bed audio, so you can play music out the bed. That makes it kind of fun. Heated seat options. This is now a nine speed automatic transmission, so that's that. This is intelligent traction management. So for me, I've got normal snow, mud, and sand, and that's perfect right now for me because I, I need it in the snow. Auto stop start, so that will work on fuel economy. Little tray right here. Is that a, nope, not, wire, not a, a wireless charger, unfortunately. Nor is that, but they do have this to keep your phone charged. But I do like those nowadays, they have 
the wireless charging pads for compatible phones. Visibility looks pretty good in my short time with it in the last day so far. Uh, plenty of light, and you can see out the back there, I think they actually have, let's see this right? Yep, slide open the back window. Hey, so you can have, talk to people in the back or, I don't know, extra ventilation. So 280 horsepower under the hood. I have a complete archive of all my Honda reviews and videos in the description below. So if you want to see what I've done in the past and then uh, maybe bring your, yourself up to speed if you are shopping for a Honda, which I, I'm assuming you are because you're watching this. What else can I tell you? Uh, we have all wheel drive on our trim level. I know the base has front wheel drive as standard. I'll go over all of that in my uh, full review at the end of the week. So stay tuned, thanks for watching, hit subscribe, and I'll see you soon. This has been a just arrived walk around video, not a review of the 2020 Honda Ridgeline. Adios. One more thing before you go, I've added links in the description below to some of the best selling automotive accessories and products on Amazon right now, plus links to some of the product reviews I've done. You can find it in the description below this video. And if you don't mind, take a couple of seconds and click that subscribe button. I'm uploading two, three, sometimes four new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything, plus it helps support my channel. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, thoughts, or suggestions about my video, please leave it in the comments section below.